Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to D News today. I am Trace and I'm here with the creators of the Tesla suit. Dimitri, Dimitri, and Serge is in the computer. Hey guys. Hi. Hello. So this is the Tesla suit. What is it exactly? This is a VR haptic suit that transmits tactile sensations from virtual reality and games to your body. Okay, so if I were wearing this, I could feel what was going on in a game, like if somebody punched me, I'd feel it? Exactly. Oh man, that sounds awesome. Can I try it? I want to try it. Let's do it. So how does this suit work? It's haptic technology, but what does that mean? Yeah, so we use neuromuscular stimulation, okay. uh, which it means, for example, when I'm lifting my arm, it means that our brain sends in electric pulses to our muscles. Yeah. So basically with Tesla suit, we're using the native body language technology. Okay, so it kind of speaks to our body in a language our body understands. Yeah. So it makes our muscles kind of contract like they normally would. It pushes the sensors in our fingers the way they would normally be stimulated. So what's in here that's going to make me feel sensations then? Uh, there's a matrix of electrodes. It's a textile, so there's no wires, no cables. Uh, so uh, by sending different types of electric pulses with different power and different frequency, we could simulate different types of touch, from something crawling you to, at some points, even wind. Hot and cold is coming to DK1 version, and uh, even force. So, oh, you, wow. so you could feel the weight of the virtual glass. So in this version, I'm going to feel my muscles contract and things like that. But in future versions, what are you going to incorporate? Heat sensors. And then biosensors as well, like heart rate monitors? Yeah. Or? So I'm going to pull electrodes, and you'll tell me if you feel it. Oh, over here. You feel it? Feel yeah. It? yeah. Kind of a tickle. It feels like a like a little electrical tickle under here. This, this one? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> this one seems to be super sensitive. Yeah. That's okay. That one's great. <laughs> So now we're going to check the frequency. Ah! <laughs> that was crazy. It went from being like somebody's hands like this to kind of spread out but vibrating. So it kind of spread everywhere. When you see the TV, yeah, yeah. so there's 24 frames, yeah, so when right. they're moving fast. So once you once you take a one frame, it's a one photograph, yeah. yeah. So uh, but once you put them in sequence, it 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 make it make moves. an action, yeah. Right. So this is the same as we did here. So we could actually create the, your own patterns. Are you ready? I'm ready. Whoa! Ah, eat, ah. That was crazy. Where did you? Ah. Yeah. I'm just touching it here on the back. It's yeah, like, it's strong. It's strong. It's strong, but it, yeah. like a it, you definitely noticed. You know, let's make it, it less. Ooh. Is it less? Is it less? So just let's. No, break. it's good. I think it's more just unexpected, like Is surprising. It? Now yeah. it's kind of like, what's happening? Mild, yeah, yeah. So the high frequency one, because it feels like a vibration, it seems like it tricks my skin into thinking that it's a solid thing that's just poking me. Whereas when the frequency is lower and it's a more of like a tickly sensation, then it feels more like somebody's crawling. Something's crawling on you. I imagine communication software is And that, big. that's the main, this is where we're moving to the next part. So this is uh, the way how we could transmit uh, tactile sensations over the distance. When uh, humankind invented telegraph, yeah. yeah. so it allowed to transmit data over the distance. Then there was radio that allowed to transmit voice over the distance with telephone. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when there was a TV, uh, te te television, it allowed to transmit image over the distance. And right. now with Tesla suit, we could transmit the tactile sensations over the distance. Okay. So it's a next step uh, in a whole uh, like technology human development. Connection. So what we're about to do now is use the Tesla suit to make a phone call across the planet and I'm going to hug someone. Victoria, Hi. she's in London, we're okay. in San Francisco. This is the first history, making history right now. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. History is made. So what we're about to do now is I'm going to use the Tesla suit in combination with VR and a video game so that I can play paintball. And every time a paintball hits me, I'm going to feel it. Yeah, and if you look around, uh -huh. it's weird when I get shot, I can feel it. Oh, crap. Oh, there's a dude like right next to me. I didn't even see him, but I'm like focused I on this other guy. I'm not good at video games, you guys. So the Tesla suit has some obvious applications for the future. It's kind of using my own body's physiology. I mean, I can see so many different ways that this can go. So thank you so much for bringing this in. If you guys want to know more about it, you can go down into the description and check it out. There's a link there. It's teslasuit.com.